Uh, yeah, let's start this way. Tell us your story. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I, I, I don't remember the dates, but I, I'm happy to send them to you by email if you want to add them to your article. But back in uh, June, I covered this fantastic festival in uh, the Netherlands called Forder Rock. Mm -hmm. It's a really good, big festival for the country. It's getting bigger every year. This year, it has really great bands like uh, Arch Enemy were there, Parkway Drive, Nightwish, Watain, Meshuga, Tweer. So it's a really, really good festival, which the Netherlands doesn't usually have. Or, uh, heavy metal. So if your listeners want to go to a fantastic festival, they should really go to Port of Rock. And uh, in that festival, I photographed well, most of the bands. Mm -hmm. One of the bands was Arch Enemy. I uh, published that photo on my Instagram, as I usually do, because for, for many photographers, it really works as uh, a fast mm -hmm. uh, portfolio, right? It's, it's easier for people to say, find me on Instagram yeah. than to send them to your, to your website. And... Uh, I saw that Alisa and a lot of fans liked it, they shared it, and yeah. in general, although that is, strictly speaking, infringing, yeah. I'm okay with them doing it, because they're not making money off yeah. Alisa is not making money out of my photo. Yeah. Uh, but then there was this company who uh, makes clothing for Alisa, for Judas Priest, and for a number of other uh, musicians. It's yeah. run by a very talented uh, clothing designer uh, yeah. from Poland called Marta Gabriel, and she... <clears throat> excuse me, share this photo uh, in uh, in a setting in which is it's commercial, right? Because she's saying, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry, um, in a setting in which she says, hey, uh, look at Alisa, I designed these clothes in a platform where it's, where it actually you have literally a link to her store, mm. right? Um, and so I, I contacted her over Instagram, but she ignored me, so I sent her an email as well, and I said, yeah, you know, that I'm a photographer, I'm an attorney as well, that she had uh, shared my photo in a commercial setting, which is not okay, mm. that I normally, for, for infringing, I could charge about 500 euros, but that I would be happy uh, to yeah. just forget about it, let her keep using the photo, if she was willing to do a donation of 100 euros to the Dutch Cancer Society. Mm. Uh, and I never heard from her, because instead... I was contacted by Angela Gosso, yeah. Arch Enemy's uh, former singer and current manager, mm -hmm. who told me that uh, Arch Enemy, its uh, sponsors and fan clubs, all of them have the right to use all the images that are taken of Arch Enemy. Yeah. And so I explained to Angela that actually that is incorrect, that uh, the copyright of the photos lies with the photographer, mm -hmm. because she was That's making right. the argument that as a photographer yourself, I'm mm -hmm. sure you have heard before, which is, you know, photographers are happy for the exposure that we're giving them, so, um, you know, just let it go, or are we going to have a problem? And I explained that, yes, well, we're going to have to have a problem. Yeah. Um, and her reaction was uh, very disappointing, because I was a, a big fan of Arch Enemy, and of Angela specifically, I think that she treaded new ground for... Mm -hmm. Uh, female musicians. She's a fantastic singer and uh, very, very talented. Mm -hmm. And and her reaction was, well, Mr. Samaran, I will. Uh, you will be happy to know that you are no longer uh, admitted yeah. to come to our enemy shows. Mm -hmm. Which that would be that wouldn't that would be bad, but not as bad as what she did because she also uh, what she did in addition to that. Yeah. Because she also said uh, we're also informing labels. Uh, booking agents, yeah, promoters. promoters. You can see, you can see the, the, the uh, you can see the, the correspondence on our side, of course. Yeah. Uh, and because no band wants to have a band, uh, a photographer that sends such threatening letters yeah. to monetize on their images. And of course, I took exception to that because mm. I was being accused of threatening people <laughs> simply for saying, "Hey, don't use my work for free." Mm. Uh, regrettably, however, back then I was. Uh, uh, sick uh, on and off, uh, and it lasted for a, a few months. Yeah. So I had to. I wrote the article way back then, yeah. and uh, the, the, the first draft of it, uh, and then I kind of disconnected myself from it. Mm. Uh, recorded the video uh, early this week, yeah. and then we we run it now. When I was finally kind of able to handle the 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 reaction that I thought yeah. we were going to have. I say that I thought we were going to have because he was absolutely crazy. It was a much bigger reaction than we ever uh, expected. Yeah. Uh, and that is, that's how it began. 
<laughs> that's chapter one. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think you are ruling the all kind of different uh, metal magazines. Even the German Metal Hammer wrote an article about it. And Loudwire wrote an article about it. So it's on the top metal topics, you can say. And um, like I mentioned before, you're a lawyer. And uh, during my study time, I also studied media law. And it's very interesting. Um, also, there are some stuff on the uh, internet and from the management, from the band, etc. But the major fact is to clear it all up. Um, you sent the invoice to the clothing uh, company and not to Arch Enemy oh, yeah. or yeah. to Arch yeah. Enemy's uh, uh, management. And the uh, management and the, the band contacted you or stated this public, not the clothing line. Because everybody is saying, yeah, Arch Enemy is uh, doing this. No, uh, the invoice you sent is uh, was sent to the clothing line. And um, right. also... So I, I, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. So what I did was that I, I contacted uh, Thunderbolt Clothing. Yeah. And instead of replying to me, they reported me to Arch Enemy. Yeah. And Arch Enemy, I mean, uh, Thunderbolt Clothing, to their credit, published uh, a long apology today. Yeah. Uh, it's on their uh, Facebook page, and we shared it on our own Facebook page. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so what she says is that she contacted Arch Enemy because I don't really buy that. <laughs> that uh, she thought that I was a scammer, which mm -hmm. she could have solved very easily just by contacting me on yeah. Instagram and saying, hey, did you send it? Yeah. Uh, but instead of doing that, she reported me to Arch Enemy. Uh, the manager of Arch Enemy is Angela Gosso, the former singer, and apparently yeah. she told her, don't worry, we'll take care of it. Yeah. And, well, the way in which they took care of it was by quite literally threatening to end my career. Yeah. Because okay. that's, that, that's what uh, your listeners uh, need to uh, understand. Definitely. Uh, if you were... Um, so if I was running a label yeah. and, and a musician tells me there is a person sending threats yeah. to me, I wouldn't just not let them, um, not let that artist deal with that person sending threats. I wouldn't let any of my artists yeah. live with him because he is a person sending threats. You mm. know, I should call the police. Yeah. He's sending threats. That's so heavy. obviously that seeks to uh, uh, dynamite and boycott my career uh, in a way that, that would prevent me. Okay, so you want to get paid? Fine, let's see how you get paid where you can never shoot again. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I am very lucky because I, I have a, a, a photography for me. Is, I don't want to call it a hobby because I'm, I'm, I don't want to say I'm talented, but I, yeah. I, I, certainly, I more or less know what I'm doing. I have, I have worked as a photographer yeah. in the past. Um, but I, my, my, my income, the way in which I put food on the table is by my, my law practice and my academic career. Yeah. And so I don't need to take stuff like that from anybody. I don't take kindly to threats yeah. or to a system that seeks to create a real servitude on the part of photographers mm. uh, in regards to the bands. Yeah. And so uh, I was not going to take that sitting down, especially mm. because if I didn't make it public, mm. uh, nobody would know my version. Yeah. In fact, when this situation happened, yeah. Uh, I contacted not only Angela, but also all the people that she had contacted. Yeah. And I said, Angela, I never threatened you. This is absolutely incorrect. I am sorry that you reacted yeah. so poorly. And none of the people that she contacted got back to me. And I don't blame them, of course, because all of those people, uh, they in, in English you would say they know the way the, butter, the, the bread is buttered. Yeah. They know where the money is coming from. I don't make money for Century Media. She makes money for Century Media. So of course they're going to side with her. I don't blame them for that. Yeah. The problem is that our enemy should not have taken that approach of, well, this photographer is not giving us everything for free. Yeah. Well, let's destroy his career. You know what? Um, I want to take over for a minute. Um, I don't know where to start actually, but um, I think it's good what you did that you stayed at public because on... On the one hand, another photographer sent his, how do you say it, um, contact relationship between Arch Enemies management, which means um, it's about Angela, because um, I will put it up in the video. Um, it's the same 
What Happened to You. Um, it's a it's, Finnish uh, photographer, right? It's uh, Anouk Timmerman. Yeah, I saw, I saw the female student, but please uh, tell the story for your Yeah, so, um, so it's, it's the same procedure in 29, was it? Uh, 10 years ago? 2010. 2000, 2010. Oh, 2010. Um, um, that the band, or at least uh, Angela, used his pictures um, for her website. I think, I think it's a, I think it's a girl. Oh, so yes, her, her her girl. Yeah. Uh, for um, for the website, and uh, also she didn't ask the photographer to use it. So um, the photographer contacted her and said, uh, "You have now." 24 hours to take them down. If you don't take it down, um, please pay me uh, per photo a fee of uh, 170 euros. Something yeah, like that, right? something like that. And uh, then uh, somebody uh, contacted her. I don't know if it's uh, the the admin of the website or Angela herself, and said, "Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. We put it down. Everything, everything is fine." So, and then the photographer. Yeah, you're right. It's a girl. She contacted uh, the admin and said, "Yeah, uh, everything is fine. Sorry for the inconvenience. Um, also, wish you all the best for the website." And then the photographer got an email from Angela Gosso which saying uh, my webmiss has me root the pictures I will personally make sure we will you will not get um, it missed for a photo pass for future arch enemy gigs in the future so or slash from any guestless slash photo pass request sincerely Angela Gosso Oof. So you have to think about it that the band or she is taking photos without asking or at least art, uh, art without asking put it on her website for advertising somebody is saying like you hey please put it down or if you're interested pay me a fee for that uh, or it's fine she said yeah okay we delete it and then they give you the last word more like yeah you're standing on the blacklist you will never get any access to arch enemy show and in your case she's yeah. like i will tell a promoters other brands etc pp where i think oof that's a little bit too much because in your case um they say no no it's a single woman from poland and um yeah. she she did it while well, she was so happy to see her yeah yeah right but she was posting that picture of um of of the arch enemy singer wearing the clothes of the uh, clothing company and the picture was also posted on the um, social media account of the company so even if you say yeah it was everything for uh, happiness for personal happiness etc pp then it's covered advertising here in germany especially because um, you know i guess the term and also that in each single uh, country there are different um, laws and here in more, Germany, uh, more, more, more or less, that's not uh, in, within the European Union. Uh, we're quite fortunate because yeah. uh, copyright law has been largely harmonized. Yeah. There are some uh, the differences. Uh, there is the, if I'm not mistaken, the data. I forgot what is the name of the yeah. regulation, but there is a, a, a regulation within the European Union that has harmonized uh, copyright largely. Yeah. Uh, the situation there is to, I, I believe, or like uh, that. Um, that she she designed the clothes and therefore she was happy to yeah. see them in in a photo. The funny thing is that she could have just told me, "Hey, you know, I made those clothes. Would you mind if I share them?" Uh, as a matter of fact, it happened with uh, the designer of clothes mm. of another musician, who's, uh, who I have to contact soon to, to send her the photo. I don't want to say who it was, but I'll, I'll put it later. And that's fine. It's the same thing if she had told me, like, you know, I really love it. Would you mind sending me a higher resolution of the photo so yeah. that I can print it and put it in my house? I probably would have done that. Mm. You know, I don't. I don't mind doing that. It, it, I I know what it's mm. like to be proud of your work and wanna mm. uh, see it. Yeah. But it is a difference when you simply uh, try to do it at the expense of somebody else because you have to realize that in this chain of events, yeah. everybody is getting paid except the photographer. Right? Yeah. So uh, our enemy makes money when they perform at a concert as they should. Yeah. They make money where they sell their uh, merch and their albums, as they should. Yeah. The uh, sponsor, I don't know if she, whether she gets paid by Alisa or not. I hope she does. I hope yeah. it's not just the exposure. Uh, but uh, let's say that she, let's, even if she doesn't, mm. she does get money uh, when people buy the other clothes that she has. She, she makes fantastic clothes uh, mm. and uh, she gets money when people pay for, it, for, for them. 
whereas all the photographers who are there in the pit, yeah. they just show up with cameras that can be like uh, 4,000 euros, with lenses that can be two or 3,000 euros, yeah. and, bought uh, and get paid nothing. On their own. Yeah, and they bought <laughs> that on their own, and some photographers are very professional, paid by the band, management, label, etc., or from the festival area, but most, uh, also our magazine included, it's all volunteer, it's a big, big hobby with a lot of passion in there, we pay everything on our own, we don't do any money, it's about to supporting the scene, to uh, to get in contact with bands, to uh, listen to their music, to give the right and their review, it's all about more or less fun. And uh, if something happened this way, we would say, yeah, it's nice, but maybe let's talk about more about the uh, other agreement, agreement, which means um, um, also is a question to you. Um, why did you um, send them direct an invoice instead of say, hey, um, I saw that you use my photo. Thank you that you like it. Maybe uh, you are interested for your company that I'm doing more pictures of that or at least give me a special fee or account on your products and send off like, hey, you use my photo, um, you have now the opportunity. On the one hand, um, pay me 500 euros, you can use it or donate 100 euros for the Netherlands Cancer Foundation. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a completely valid question. Mm. Um, the problem is that when you simply send a takedown notice, mm -hmm. um, you are basically saying, so, so you are, let me just organize my, my ideas uh, for a second. Mm -hmm. So it, when you send a takedown notice, you're asking the other person to take, obviously, to take down the things that they posted. Yeah. The problem is that by the time they take them down, your IP was already infringed upon. Mm -hmm. It is, it is difficult when you think about it in terms of photos and things that are not material on the, on the internet, but imagine it in the following terms. Let's say that you go to Aldi, a supermarket that is also yeah. in Germany. Uh, you go to Aldi and you grab a Coke and you take it with you and you try to leave the store mm. and they tell you, hey, you're trying to take that Coke with you. Oh, sorry, here you have it back. And mm. I say, of course, they would not tell you that and say, no, you have to pay for this. Yeah. Or they'll call the cops. Hopefully, they'll just mm. ask you to pay for it. Yeah. Um, so when it comes to intellectual property, on the other hand, the hope that they have is that uh, you will, um, you will, they will, they will, uh, they, they, they want to have this approach of it is better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yeah. So I will just try to do everything that I can get away with, and mm. if I cannot get away away with something, it doesn't matter because I'll just take it down, and it will still not cost me anything. Yeah. The problem about doing that is that it also sets a very bad precedent yeah. because it, it lowers the value of the work of every photographer. Yeah. Because then everybody starts to understand, oh, well, I can do this. Nobody complains. It's fine. Mm -hmm. No. Intellectual property matters. <laughs> and you are still Definitely. supposed to contact the people whose yeah. work you're, you're taking. Yeah. This is not, it's not an, an absolute. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, there are exceptions to, to intellectual property. Mm. A number of websites, ironically enough, are now sharing my photo of Alisa White Blues without asking me. Yeah. The reason for that is because it, it has a relevance in news report. Yeah. It would be ridiculous if they were forced to not show the photo yeah. that caused an enormous problem mm. that, that happened as a result of uh, this event. Mm. But in, it would be absolutely different if... Um, I don't know, if, let's say Alisa was wearing sunglasses in the photo. Yeah. Uh, and then Raven said, oh, really fantastic. We, she's just wearing our sunglasses. Now you can see her on a billboard somewhere mm. to promote uh, Raven. Mm. Uh, when it comes to commercial use, mm. I think that people really need to understand that you have to ask for permission first. Mm. And uh, I don't need the money in this situation. Yeah. So I am, I am, uh, <laughs> I offer the possibility to donate it. Because it's it's about the principle, and yeah. the principle is pay photographers yeah. for the work that you use commercially. Mm. Uh, additionally, the correct way to, to approach this situation should have been, oh, I am so sorry, I didn't know. Uh, um, uh, do you mind if I pay less? Do you mind if I pay 90, 60, 80, you know, no. 30, 20, whatever? Uh, would you, do you mind if I uh, talk with the band and they send you a signed mm. album? I wouldn't have taken a signed album because I am not a 12-year-old boy. Mm. But still, uh, that, that could have been uh, an option. Just try to solve the situation. Own up to your mistakes. Yeah. What you absolutely should not do is to 
ignore the messages, block the people who complain, and then report them to a management mm. that you know full well is going to take this bullying behavior mm. against them. Yeah, um, I completely understand you, and also in your heart are pumping two at least. I'm a, you as a lawyer and also the photographer. And for me, like I mentioned before, it's the same because I studied a part of media law during my uh, study time, and it's definitely uh, uh, right uh, that you can send an invoice if somebody is searching your copyright. And if somebody is saying, ah, no, you are not right, you can go to a law court or a court law, so I think the right term, and they decide, final, yeah, you are right or you are wrong. Um, however, um, if something happened uh, to me, please give me um, an advice for as an, uh, also as a photographer and a journalist. If something happened to me and I'm in a situation like you, um, I would say hey okay use my photo but maybe we can agree uh, on a different layer like when arch enemy uh, I, I take now the arch enemy example is coming uh, somewhere near my town please give me a photo pass of, um, for me and my editors and we do some kind of special uh, interview or send me at least merch for uh, The only way of signed uh, that's, that's, any 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 photographer is, is free to accept whatever they want as as payment. Yeah. Uh, but also, um, so for example, right? Yeah. Um, even though I am a lawyer, uh, I sometimes have had to use uh, lawyers for whatever reason, like tax situations, or I am not originally Dutch. So, for example, when I when I had to, um, yeah, I just fill my taxes as a foreigner in Europe. All yeah. of those things. Uh, you need an attorney and yeah. uh, sometimes it happens when an attorney send you a bill yeah. that you think hey i don't agree with this uh, bill so you send them an email back and you say hey you're charging me 500 yeah. uh, shouldn't it be 400 or can it be 400 or anything else you can discuss the situation yeah. uh she could have done that of course she could have just told me oh shit, i really didn't know i am so sorry yeah i mean she has to know that the worst thing that I can do, yeah. literally the worst thing that I can do, the most that she has to lose, yeah. based on what I asked, would be a hundred euros that I'm asking her to, to pay for uh, the Dutch Council Society. Yeah. So it's not a significant amount of money. She sells uh, uh, clothing for much, like she sells jackets for three, four hundred euros. Mm -hmm. uh, She could have just yeah. said, I'm sorry, I, I cannot pay that, which can be possible. I don't yeah. know what her costs are. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if it's 50? Do you mind if I don't pay you anything? She could have done that. Yeah. Uh, and I, I am more than willing to talk to people. Mm. I am more than willing to tolerate an authorized uh, use if, uh, if it's not malicious. So, mm. for example, uh, I never... No, that, that wouldn't be correct. I don't usually ask fans to take down reposts of my photo. Yeah. I say usually because when they remove my watermark, for example, that's that completely uh, destroys my work. Yeah. Because I need people to know how to find me, yeah. right? Uh, or when they edit them and they add those horrendous Instagram filters, so yeah. I have a photo that he might have taken. No, me, they uh, changed the original, yeah. Again, and they fuck it up. Uh, Yeah, of course. In, in those cases, I do ask them to take them down. But in general, I don't, I don't particularly care. Mm. But the day one of those uh, people start to sell a product mm. using my photos to advertise, the situation changes and the situation changes yeah. dramatically. Definitely. And I expect them to act like grown yeah. If you want to run a business, whatever that business might be, mm. you have to understand that sometimes you're bound to make mistakes. And yeah. as an adult, You are supposed to own up to your mistakes and try to solve them. Yeah. You're not supposed to double down and try to make things worse for the other person. Um, what was your first reaction when you got the feedback of uh, the band or the emails at least from uh, Angela? I was scared. <laughs> of course I was. Uh, I would like to, to tell you that I was furious, but you know, convinced of the just the injustice that had been done against me, and I swore vengeance. Yeah. But no, it wasn't that. I was just scared. Because I love photography. Mm. But when our Angela, for example, said, you are not going to be authorized in our festival performances, mm. I thought, does that mean that when she goes to a festival... So a band, when it goes to play somewhere, they said what is known as a writer. 
mm. which are instructions to the venue or to the festival about what they expect. Yeah. Uh, and it can be really simple things. So uh, because keep in mind that musicians are on tour for a long time, so they want to have like a little taste of home. So. Mm. I don't know, uh, if you're from America, you might ask for American beer uh, or yogurt or yeah. fruits or whatever. But maybe in the writers, they're going to mention, you know, this person is never authorized to approach Arch Enemy, talk to Arch Enemy, photograph Arch yeah. Enemy. Now, imagine you are a photog- uh, uh, you're running a festival yeah. and one of the largest bands that you book gives you by name the identity of a, me- of a person from the media. Yeah who is apparently a dangerous person. Yeah. Would you accredit them for that festival? No. Would you give them an accreditation knowing that apparently there are crazy, there are crazy people who send no. threats to bad bands? No. Of course not. I wouldn't. Mm. I wouldn't give an accreditation to somebody that mm. Arch Enemy tells me sends them threats. Mm. Especially after what happened to Dan Bagdaro, for yeah. example, of uh, Pantera. Is this asshole going to be the kind of person who shows up with a shotgun? No. You know, because they're using yeah. the word threats. Yeah. I think it's a so, strong uh, term, definitely. It's a strong and dangerous term. Yeah, it's a horrible term to use, and, and, and it's, it's a criminal term to use in the sense that they are literally saying yeah. this person committed a crime. Yeah. He sent us a threat. And uh, they doubled down, of course, and after the publication of the article, they also um, accused me of extortion, mm. slander, stalking. Yeah, trolling. I saw that. And a number of things, and, for, and luckily they took that shit down, because yeah. I did send them an email and I said, listen, I'm not litigious up until now, but I'm not going to have my fucking name associated with being accused of extortion. Okay? So you take that down now, and thankfully they did. Yeah. Uh, because I, I really, I don't mind, so for example, if Martin Enemy says, this guy's photos are shit anyway, mm. that's their opinion. Yeah. So it, would, it would hurt a little bit, yeah. but it's their opinion. Uh, even if they say that I'm an asshole. Yeah. Uh, they have the right to do it, right? But what they don't have the right to do mm. is to is to accuse me of committing a crime. Yeah. And and I was very clear on the fact that that is something that I, I am more than willing to go to court for. Definitely. I, I will go to court if, 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 if I would have gone to court. I'm sorry. Yeah. If they did not take uh, take those accusations down, yeah. because it's incredibly serious. I am I am I don't say that because I am a lawyer. Yeah. But it's that as a lawyer. It's really shit if somebody Googles my name and they see Jay Salveron extortions. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I had to make sure that that would be taken um, down. Yeah, that's heavy, man. Um, one of the major topics which is always discussed during shows between photographers is always um, yeah a contract, a photo contract. And... Um, Angela also stated that the result of that all is that in the future there uh, will be arch enemy photo contracts. Um, yeah, I am. I was, I was very surprised by that because it shows that, regrettably, what Angela did. Yeah. Uh, give, give, give me just one second. You can delete, delete this part. I just need to drink a glass of water. Yeah, no problem. Uh, sorry. Um, yes. Uh, what Angela said in regards to how in the future they might need to have more photo contract is incredible because it shows that what she learned from this whole experience is that the problem was that they don't fuck photographers enough. Mm. And that is that is a thing that is really incredible. Yeah. Because what she seems to be suggesting, uh, and she sent me an email to that extent, uh, was that in the future they will start to make photo releases uh, for um, for photographers yeah. in the festival. And honestly, what does that mean? Are they going to do what, as I mentioned in the video and in the article, what uh, Taylor Swift, yeah. Lady Gaga, and the Foo Fighters did? In, the, in what is known as a, just to explain to, to your readers, uh, yeah. to the listeners, sorry, a uh, legal term. Yeah. Um, there are certain bands that force photographers to sign full waiver of their copyright. Yeah. So what that means is that you take my photo, but in order for me to let you take my photo, yeah. you take that photo just for me. You give me either the ownership of the image, yeah. or at the very least, a full, absolute, and perpetual right yes. to use it forever for mm-hmm. whatever purpose I want. It is a horrible, horrible practice that some bands use. I saw that. Now, I got one copy here in German where I said we can 
whatever you want to do, sell it, use it, however you want. I, I didn't sign that. I don't want to name that band, but I said, no, sorry, guys, have a good night. I don't, I don't sign that. No, sorry. Yeah, no, of course you shouldn't, because that's what they're literally saying is, we want you to work for free. Yeah. Uh, and, and we want to make money from what you do. Uh, now, th there are certain things where I think it can be reasonable, uh, and it depends to everyone. Mm. So there are certain musicians who say, uh, you know, if you publish the, you know, we, we want you to give us uh, the photo so that we can use it exclusively on social media. Yeah. And if we want to use it outside of social media, um, you know, we will pay you whatever needs to be paid. I, yeah. I don't normally have a problem with that. Yeah. In fact, many bands that I've shot, I let them use the stuff watermarked yeah. on social media. And uh, when I've licensed for albums, for example, Status Quo Live at Backen album yeah. features my images. Uh, Unisonics Live at Backen also features uh, my images. In those cases, is uh, of course they, they 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 pay you whatever you you agree with them yeah. for that right. Uh, also, there are some bands that ask you to sign contracts that are completely legitimate. So I don't want to create the impression mm. that uh, all contracts are wrong. Mm. So, for example. Uh, earlier this year, I photographed Iron Maiden, and Iron Maiden presents a contract to the photographers that basically uh, it doesn't really create any rights no. for them. It just explains to you what you are allowed to do with the photo. No. And it, and some of the things that it establishes are not uh, are already things that you cannot do. They're just no. reminding you not to do them. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, if you photograph Iron Maiden, you're going to sign a contract that says uh, you are not allowed to uh, create merchandise. To use any of the photos of Iron Maiden to promote products. Yeah. You are still not allowed to do that even if you don't sign the contract. Mm -hmm. But since that is something that uh, perhaps people don't know as a result of uh, their own understandable ignorance on a legal uh, issue, yeah. the band basically wants to remind people, yeah. dude, you yep. cannot do this. Definitely. You can only... If you're working for uh, Metal Hammer, mm. uh, you can only publish them at Metal Hammer and in mm. your portfolio. You cannot just keep selling them to other magazines. Mm. So they can be they can be reasonable. Right? Definitely, but they I... can be they can be abusive. And what I'm understanding from Angela's words mm. is that she wants to have them to be abusive. Mm. Uh, because what else? I mean, I I wasn't profiting from their images. I wasn't making prints of mm. their photos. I wasn't promoting products no. with their photos. I was just asking their sponsor, who they want to use my photo, yeah. to pay me for that use. Yeah. That was the entirety of what I was doing. So if what they learned from this whole event is that they should just take all of the copyright from the uh, photographers who cover them, I think that regrettably they, A, didn't learn anything from this whole event, yeah. and sadly they didn't listen to their own fans. Mm. Um, if you could write or define an own photo contract for the concerts in the future, would you do this? And how would it be look like? Would it like be some kind of gentleman's agreement or more like a reminder what Iron Maiden did? Or are there specific rules what I, the band I, is doing? I, I, mentioned, I mentioned Iron Maiden, but it's, it, there are many other bands. Who yeah, definitely. Say. It's a common thing in the Which photography for all. Normal, and I really don't want to get the impression that Iron Maiden is doing anything wrong. On the contrary, the, the, the contract is an absolutely good contract. There's nothing wrong with it. Hmm. Um, I think that it's a good approach, it's a fantastic approach. It just tells you, I mean, as a parenthesis, photographing Iron Maiden is one of the best experiences of yeah. my life. They have no, this it was just in person. Example. Not just because it's not just because it's my favorite band and because uh, it's an amazing thing to photograph, yeah. but also because the, 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 this lady works with them for many years who brings all of the photographers in the pit and, he, and she tells us, yeah. you know, this is a fantastic show, you're going to have a fantastic time, mm -hmm. let me just tell you a little bit about the rules, about what you're supposed to do. So, so and, and really, I've never been treated so well yeah. um, but in, a, in, a, in a photographic setting. I think that what the, the, the approach that they take is is very good, which is just to say, tell us your name, mm -hmm. who you are, where are you photographing, where are you going to publish the photos, no. and uh, just so you know, you cannot do any of the following things. No. 
uh, you cannot sell products with our images, you cannot, without our authorization, mm. you cannot use our images as an endorsement of anything. Uh, so just logical uh, things, because obviously in those cases they would like to know mm. how their images are used. Um, I think that that is a good approach. Uh, it, it, I, once again, because it's not actually adding anything additional yeah. to your to what your legal rights already are. They're not taking anything away from you. They're just making it very clear yeah. so that you know exactly where you stand. Mm. Uh, on the other hand, I have had other bands, uh, I don't want to say which one, where the contract said if you follow, if you don't follow our instructions, mm. uh, we have the right to take your equipment and destroy it. What? Destroy what? A hundred percent, I am a hundred percent serious. Uh, destroy it. And I thought like, no. No. Dude. No. <laughs> oh, dude. I, I mean, of course, I thought, I'm not going to break any rule, but I am not going to sign an agreement no. where somebody literally has the right to destroy my camera. Oh, no. Man. You know, it's, I thought I was incredible. I'm like, are you, are you, are you high? Mm. I'm not going to give you the right to break my mm. shit. No. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, if, if anybody's drastic contracts at the moment, please do not say that you have the right to break yeah. other people's stuff. That's, yeah. that's not great. Yeah, but I think in general it's a good... Um, topic i mean with the um with the uh, photo contract for bands in general to or at least for the photograph to see hey what's allowed what's not allowed also for newbies which are coming or which trying uh, to get a uh, st footstep uh, foot store depth yeah. into the field of photography to see ah that's allowed that's not um allowed but i think also yeah. there should be um, somehow all the same and not like uh, destroy any equipment of the photographer or we can yeah. whatever we want to do with the picture and pay you zero bucks i think there should yeah. yeah there should be some kind let me say not gentleman's agreement but something more specific on that that's two sides between the band the management and also for you the photographer everything is clear i mean what happened now um, shows a big big gap between you and the band and also like um, the manager Angela stated yeah they more or less they want to destroy your car career by um, yeah, sending right, right, right. it to everything I think that couldn't be a solution because not also you are um, also um, how do you say infected or f not threatened But there's also many, many more photographers and also doing arch enemy uh, photos. And like I mentioned at the beginning of our interview, that happened 10 years ago on the same level yeah. you know, that they yeah, are blacklisted. That's, that's that the, blacklisting the, isn't the, the solution. Yeah, so the reason why I studied law has nothing to do with uh, me being smart or reading a lot or any of the, the typical things. So whether or not I read a lot or whether or not I'm intelligent, it's for other people to decide. The, the thing that really motivated me is that I always enjoyed arguing. I always enjoyed this process of yeah. presenting my ideas and trying to debate their value. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this particular case, uh, what I wanted to argue about was that I felt uh, that an injustice had been committed and it was an unjust situation. I, I, I think the term injustice sounds dramatic, but it just means something that isn't fair. Uh, an unfair situation if it were, had, had, had happened. Yeah. And that I was in a very uh, good position mm. to shed light mm. on what had happened. Because, you know, nobody does something like this mm. for the first time after that many years in the business. Yeah. Nobody. Right? So, I, I had a hard time believing that I am sure Angela deals very well, or Archenemy deals very well with photographers until today. It's just that she really got angry at me. Mm. Now, and as the evidence from that other, from Anouk, Uh, demonstrate she has done this in the past. Yeah. The difference is that I'm in a very privileged position since I don't need photography to make a living and I thought I have to shed light mm. on what is happening. And uh, I think many people appreciated that because they realized that uh, they themselves have many times been, uh, if you'll excuse the dramatic language, victimized not necessarily by our channel but by other artists who are taking advantage of them. Yeah. Uh, And so I felt that if I knew that something so disgusting was happening, mm. it was my responsibility to just um, shed light on it. Mm. I know that this can have yeah. negative consequences. And as a matter of fact, 
probably will have negative consequences. I have a very hard time believing that uh, Sony or Century Media are going to be very happy about uh, what the, the, the backlash that one of their biggest metal acts suffer. Mm. Um, but I don't care. I don't need a second finger. My principles and my uh, concepts of justice are enough. Mm. And anybody who disagrees uh, can, uh, mm. can of course, uh, raise their voices and uh, let me know yeah. uh, their opinions. It has been regrettable, mm. for, and that has been the most disappointing thing, that small photographers have been overwhelmingly supportive. They yeah. have said that this is unfair. Also, people who are not photographers mm. have been very supportive because they realized that it was kind of a, this bullying situation. Yeah. But it was very disappointing to see big photographers yeah. come out in defense of Arch Enemy saying, well, I work very closely with... Uh, I, there was one, I know what you mean. I can, who you I mean. can mention him by name because Angela Goso, he published it publicly and Angela Goso shared it. There is this very good photographer. Yeah. His, his work is really good. He's truly an artist. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Safer, a uh, very good yeah. cover photographer for Metal Hammer. I mean, the dude is really yes. great. Metal Hammer UK, yeah. Yeah, he's an amazing photographer. Definitely. Uh, he, uh, uh, he, uh, he... He stated something very um, yes, yeah, inter he, he interesting. He wrote this gigantic... He, I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, I think he um, stated something uh, interesting to summarize it and to cut it down. In the end, mm -hmm. sure, um, it is a hurt of your copyright, but it's also, um, yeah, how do you say? Um, it's a... Uh, yeah, um, Arch Enemy is on the one side, when you say a loser because of how they act, and also, unfortunately, you, because they blacklist you and said, yeah, you destroy more or less your career. And yeah, how do you rate that situation? But, well, uh, I, I cannot disagree with that interpretation to an extent, because I think that he was saying that, okay, whatever, maybe, maybe they're wrong. But as a person who's very close with Arch Enemy, mm. I can say that um, this man... Uh, lawyer, he, he suggested that the reason why I wanted to donate the money to charity was because I, I, I'm a lawyer and therefore yeah. I had carefully crafted a way to make the band look bad. Uh, and he, uh, he accused me of a crime. He mm -hmm. very openly said that I had committed the crime of extortion. Mm -hmm. uh, I sent so him a, a cease and desist letter for that. I did tell him you have to take that down and, and issue an apology. He did take it down, but he hasn't apologized yet. Therefore, I, I did speak with an attorney to see what's going to happen there. Yeah. Um, and but I was disgusted, disgusted uh, mm. to see that he had an approach that similar to what in the United States they say "fuck you, got mine," yeah. which means and I'm sorry, I'm sorry for cursing, but it basically means now that I got something, now that I'm in a comfortable position, screw the ones no. okay. who are not that comfortable. I feel, I mean, I have been helped in my career by photographers who are much better than me, more talented than me, yeah. whose careers are stellar compared to mine and I feel that it is my responsibility to pay because I have achieved a m moderate amount of success as a photographer in the sense that unlike most photographers I have mm. sold uh, my work yeah. uh, it has been featured in albums and that's more than most photographers can say so mm. because I, I, I have that level of, of very moderate success my duty is not to screw the people who come after me but mm. to pave the way for them yeah. So to actually see that this photographer, who's better than me, don't get me wrong, yeah. that he would say um, uh, that, yeah, well, maybe he did this, but whatever, yeah. uh, his, uh, his career is over. <laughs> you know, so he's like gloating yeah. at the fact that uh, my career was jeopardized because I simply had stood up and said, please stop taking advantage, please stop yeah. stealing other people's work. Yeah. For commercial purposes. Sorry for. Uh, I thought that, that was disgusting. Uh, sorry, yeah, please go ahead. I was uh, looking at my paper sheet. There was a different photographer. Sorry for that. I saw that from the photographer from the uh, metal camera, Yuhei, and another photographer here in Germany. He stated, um, "Yeah, you are um, at least arch enemy. They were hurting your copyright, but in the end, both are losers because um, they were blacklist you and arch enemy." 
um, got G Sitstorm. And my question to this is, how would you rate this in the end? Oh, I think he's right. I think that uh, I will probably, I mean, I don't mind not photographing Black uh, Arch Enemy. Uh, I did it a few times after the band, just as a matter of principle, yeah. uh, uh, because I thought it would be fun um, to kind of get away with it. They didn't know my face then, they definitely know it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, uh, but I think that when you have a position of comfort or privilege, yeah. and I have it as a result of not depending on photography, no. you cannot just say, well, if I rock the boat, things can get bad yeah. for me. Uh, knowing that other people who are not in the same privileged position that you are, yeah. Knowing that they are also going to get screwed, and then in their case, they don't have something to fall back on. Yeah. So if you don't actually say that neither you nor anybody else should get screwed, you're just letting that system go on. Definitely. I mean, if you and continue to do this, I mean, look at the music industry now. You know what I mean? It's completely fucked up, and also how people um, ripping bands off. And so you see that is the first step of the uh, photography. What are happening at the moment? Yeah, of course. Uh, the, the the problem that I I, can, I think was Santa Yana uh, has this quote, which is mm. the only thing for evil to triumph is for no, it wasn't Santa Yana. I forgot who it is, but the phrase <laughs> is uh, the only thing that evil needs to triumph is to for good men to do nothing. Mm. Uh, and so what basically what that basically means is that if you see something, say something. Mm. And in my case, I can say something knowing full well mm. that uh, I'll still be able to put food on the table. And that maybe next time our enemy decides to uh, try to destroy another photographer's career, like yeah. they tried and maybe succeeded in destroying mine, yeah. uh, they will think twice before doing it. Yeah. And maybe there will be other bands who will also say, you know what, considering how viral that thing went, maybe we shouldn't fuck with other photographers. Maybe we shouldn't steal somebody's yeah. logo. Maybe we shouldn't uh, steal somebody's content yeah. and make money from it. Maybe yeah. we should pay for people. Now, I don't get me wrong, I understand that now there are much more photographers and that as a result of that, yeah. photography as a, as a, as a, as a yeah. profession pays less than before. And that's, that's fine. That's just how the free market yeah. works. Lawyers, when there were less lawyers, yeah. got more money than now that there are more lawyers. That's fine. The problem is that the value should not go down to zero because mm. there are people just taking advantage of it. Mm. And I had the opportunity to try to raise my voice and uh, and raise awareness about it uh, so that perhaps, as I said, uh, yeah, I mean, they'll, uh, they'll think about it. I mean, you start an ongoing process. I mean, if you look um, at Arch Enemy itself, what they are standing for, their songs, the lyrics and the meanings about anti-capitalism, uh, yep. anarchy, etc. Okay, in this case they did anarchy, they did what, whatever the fuck they want, but it's against the law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they have a specific credibility for this. But um, yeah. in general, if you see how they react, it's like, I don't know if you are a true fan and see, okay, you are, uh, you are, um, you're really digging and liking the music and the lyrics and the meaning, but they're ripping off on the other hand, or not ripping off or try to blacklist uh, photographers. It's like, oh, dude, where's the credibility of that? No, right. You know I what I'm saying? Like you can't stand in front of an audio, uh, audience and say, hey... Uh, whatever about politics, about uh, capitalism, about photographers, and in the, on the other hand, you are not what you are saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, precisely, precisely. And I don't have a problem if, if our enemy are, are like I'm not. I'm not from the far left. I don't have any problem yeah. if our enemy wants to wants to be pro capitalist. I mean, there is this band called I Think They're Death Punch where they very proudly have a band, uh, as yeah. an album called American Capitalist, and yeah. they're they're more than happy to do that. I yeah. don't have an issue with that, yeah. but don't lie to people. It would be really weird, for example, if somebody found out that the singer of Watain, mm. you know, is a devout Catholic. Yeah. Of course, as a human being, he can be a devout Catholic, but mm. your credibility as a Satanist will go to hell if you're a devout Catholic. Yeah. Uh, the same way, your credibility as an anarchist who talks about uh, no gods, no masters, and the black flags, and the black flags we march, yeah. and who's covered in this kind of Slipknot-esque uniforms mm. with uh, anarchy symbols 
Uh, I don't know. If, I, I don't know if they've included Che Guevara yet, but I'm sure that that train is not going to be very late. That's going to happen very soon. Mm. Um, while at the same time perpetuating a system of power in which they trample over the weak. Mm. That, yeah. So if you have the opportunity to sell them, dude, yeah. you are uh, clearly two-faced on this regard. You don't want. <laughs> it's like what happens. Uh, there was a joke that. Um, there was about kind of hypocritical, uh, there, there are many very principled people from the far left, don't get me wrong, but there are people who, who, who are hypocritical in that sense, who say, I don't believe in private property except in my own. Yeah. Uh, and, and it is kind of the situation yeah. that you see here. Like, yeah, yeah we will rise, you know, we will mm. destroy the power structures except yeah. the ones that benefit me. Uh, so no, and yeah. none of this means, by the way, because I don't want to, I don't want to give the impression that I'm yeah. virtue signaling. I am not trying to say that I am, I'm a good person. By yeah. any means. No, <laughs> everybody's doing mistakes, mistakes, of course. We are humans. Right? Uh, I'm just saying that um, you just shouldn't take advantage of other people, man. Mm. I mean, that's that's the, if you want to distill mm. everything, yeah. just don't take advantage of other people. Don't hurt people and don't take their stuff. Mm. That's all you need to do. It doesn't matter yeah. if you're from the left or from the right. Don't hurt people. Don't take their stuff. Uh, and, and sadly, those two very simple principles is something that our enemy were not able to live by. Mm. I think also the whole situation is at the moment overheated and the band is um, yeah like shit stormed. And I also don't know um, if they really thought when they wrote things on the internet in detail because sometimes i don't know it's between christmas you new us eve and uh, i don't know you're somewhere on something on your family uh, family values meeting or whatever and somebody's texting hey look uh, there's this photographer and maybe they wrote things i guess which way they read because uh, did you uh, saw the last post of angela what uh, she wrote the one where she says we didn't um, yeah. Violate anybody's copyright. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, it, it started off well, uh, and then it kind of went to hell. Like, she's, she seems to be unable, and I know that it is difficult. I, I am 34 years old, mm. and, and it does, and accepting that you're wrong doesn't get any easier with age. No. Right? Uh, it's always difficult that actually our brains, that is why confirmation bias is so uh, power is such a powerful cognitive dissonance. Um, uh, accepting that you're wrong to our brains mm. feel very similar to physical pain. Right? Right. I get it. But when you have quite literally hundreds of thousands of people literally explaining to you what you did wrong, no. and you decide to double down, it's 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 uh, remarkable. I mean, let's see what she first did. The yeah. first thing she did, in the case of Angela, because we can separate. On the one hand, there was a photographer, first we covered them. Yeah. Now, what, what did Angela do? The first thing was she did nothing, and she started to remove, or somebody, or her intern started to remove uh, the negative comments that were posted on her uh, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Uh, after that, she released a statement. She, she shared uh, Jeremy Safer's uh, slanderous uh, article where he called me an extortionist, yeah. and you know was very happy about the fact that uh, my career is going to end because I didn't want to be stepped up. Um, and she wrote this thing where she said that I was, she quoted Donald Trump, yeah. <laughs> so that this were, or at least the Trumpian regime, mm. where she was saying that these were alternative facts <laughs> and that they, people didn't know the entire story, mm. as, if I, as if there was like a director's cut uh, of, of the emails, mm. you know. Uh, the only thing that I didn't include in the emails were the email addresses, but that was it. Cada Pixel has seen the emails as well. Yeah. There is no doubt that I posted the entire story, but they wanted to create the impression in people that I was lying. Yeah. Which I thought was horrible because, like, you know that you you cannot prove that I'm lying. Like, yeah. there is no evidence for you to do that. So why would you dig yourself deep? And she said, uh, she used the word threats, she used the word extortion. Mm. That's when I emailed her and said, okay, you're going to have to take that shit down now. And that's where she posted the new one, where kind of at the end, at the tail end of her par of her uh, non-apology, yeah. she, uh, she says, by the way, uh, we were not threatened or extorted in any legal sense. Yeah. Like, which is, it's not a just, you know, that's not a great way to own up to what you did, but okay, yeah, whatever. Um, I 
And she also at some point called her uh, fans sheep for agreeing with me. Yeah. Which, again, I, I don't know anything about PR. I'm not a particularly friendly, friendly person, so yeah. maybe I'm not the right person to tell you how to make friends and influence people. Yeah. But maybe don't insult the people who have made you a wealthy person. Mm. Uh, you know, don't bite the hand that feeds. Mm. That really seems like a very horrible thing to do. You should respect the fans who have been with you throughout your career and treat them with respect and care. Yeah. I'm not asking you to hug every single one of them and give them a kiss on the cheek when you're touring, yeah. but don't fucking insult them. You know, especially when you know that a lot of them are young kids. Yeah. You know, I mean, do you feel better when you call a 14 year old a sheep? You know, you as a, I think Angela is older than me, like a 40, 42 year old woman. Yeah. Do you think that it's great? It's a horrible thing. Definitely. Uh, and in the case of Alisa, she, uh, she also put on her Instagram first yeah. that uh, I was lying. This was so. She didn't use fake news, but you know people didn't know the entire story, yeah. and that I was. I think I think she called me a stalker. She did call me a troll, a, yeah. an extortionist, and a slander. <laughs> yeah, slander is so, heavy, man. Right. So all of those words, uh, and that's when I sent an email like, you know, you have to take that shit down, which she did. But then she posted, uh, she also said that thing about how I decided to um, attack this single woman from Poland, which I thought was disgusting. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, to break it down on this kind of level. Disgusting. Yeah, I mean, to break this down on this kind of level, come on, it's just to get sympathy. You know what I mean? And if it comes to uh, the law... Nobody cares if it's a single woman from Poland. All what they see is, ah, somebody was uh, using your photo without any license on a company which, uh, yeah. where the Arch Enemy singer it's is sponsored by. And, and, and the terrible thing about that is that you can, you know what is the what they seek to do because they know that they cannot call me a misogynist. Yeah. So they just try to hint that I'm a misogynist. You know. So they just try to say, well, you know, look at him attacking this poor single woman who mm. was just proud of her work don't do that you know uh as uh, as the i mean my dad as i mentioned in a, in a, in a little post that i did in response to that yeah you, know, you stated all something gonna, you stated all dad, something that uh, my dad, uh yeah with my your dad, dad died when, uh, when i was very young uh, i was raised by uh my mom who didn't remarry after that my grandmother also lost her husband at a fairly young age and, yeah. and i was raised by these two very powerful women very strong very loving caring women who i would uh who i was actually because that's a normal thing to do at my age i was actually talking with my mom earlier today and she and i mentioned that thing of the single woman and she even she was disgusted you know because it's like such a horrible thing because why would you paint yourself as a victim yeah. of a man who has not made any comment about the fact that uh you're a woman or single i mean i don't know the civil status of the people who do stuff yeah you know it's, it's so to try to hint misogyny uh is is disgusting it's 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 a really disgusting thing and i am shocked that anybody would do that i i mean i have a i i would that, that would be like me saying mm. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I've written an article about it. It's it's not a big deal, right? But I was um, I, I was a, I'm a sexual assault survivor from when I was a kid. Yeah. And uh, it would be very horrible if I said our enemy stole a photo from a sexual assault assault survivor. Mm. It would be horrible, right? Because Definitely. it doesn't add anything to my to my argument. Yeah. It just says that uh, it just trying to make them look bad. By making it sound like they're bullying a sexual assault survivor, that's that, that would be horrible. That is just trying to get pity points. Yeah. That doesn't prove anything about what I'm saying. So uh, that was that was a really terrible action on their part, and that is something for which I can honestly say they should be ashamed of. Themselves. Yeah, it's disgusting. Pooh, man, that's a heavy, heavy topic. And <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. And like I mentioned before, the situation is over over overheated i think it's hotter like the hell and but if you could speak to uh, the arch enemy uh, management at least angela or, or at least also the singer alisa what would you say to them or at least i hope somebody from the arch enemy field is listening now um maybe if you would i don't know take up the phone and call each other 
would you do yeah, this? I and maybe to clarify the situation to like, hey, come on, I reacted like this way, you reacted like this way, that can't be a solution for each other and also at least for the metal community, for the photographers, for journalism, for the fans, etc. Yeah, I mean, I, I am, I, I'm, listen, the only time when I really felt angry, Yeah. I, have been, I, I don't feel angry because somebody, you know, steals my intellectual property. I, I don't take that as a personal thing. They didn't do it because they wanted to fuck me, right? Uh, I did get angry, however, when they, uh, they accused me of a crime and then they backed down. Of course, we are apologizing. And I also felt disgusted when they kind of made that uh, really revolting accusation of, uh, implied accusation of misogyny. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I think I've been very courteous. As a matter of fact, last night, before she made her, uh, as I mentioned before, before she made her uh, statement, I spoke, I mean, I emailed with uh, Angela and I asked her, um, why did you think yeah. that it was right to say that I was threatening you and copying promoters, labels, and booking agents. Why did you think that that was the right thing to do? Yeah. Uh, that would be the answer that I would like to have. Because I understand that she doesn't need to uh, have me photographing their shows. And, you know, to, to give her kind of a certain amount of comfort, yeah. I don't want to photograph their shows anymore. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what I don't understand is why she decided to do that knowing full well. I mean, Angela, I assume, is an intelligent uh, person. Yeah. And she must have known that contacting the head of PR of her label yeah. was probably going to affect how that label works with me and my organization. Yeah. She must have known. She must have known that when she said that she was going to uh, ensure that I couldn't photograph them at festivals, that that meant that I would be at risk of having my name spread out festivals yeah. uh, ex with the express intent of making sure that those festivals would not give me accreditations. Yeah. I would really like to know why do you think that those bullying tactics are the way to go? Yeah. Uh, as for on a personal level, I mean, clearly we're never going to become friends. No. Uh, I don't think any of the parties involved wants to do that. But what I would suggest to her is something that uh, since I didn't, uh, I, I don't have the talent that Angela clearly has. I don't have the talent that Alisa has. So I, I had to take the kind of a slower a process towards success, right? I had to, yeah. you know, I studied law, I went to do my master's, I got my PhD, I started working, and yeah. it's academia, all those things. I don't mean that I'm smarter or dumber than they are. I'm just saying that you, it's a slower process, right? Yeah. And that slower process forces you to often be frustrated because you cannot succeed at everything. You mm. cannot, um, not everybody's going to say yes to you. And uh, I think that she clearly needs that. Mm. She clearly needs to learn mm. that sometimes you are just wrong. Mm. And you need to learn to apologize, not to double down, and especially to treat the kids who like her music, their mm. music, I'm sorry, with the respect that they deserve. Mm. Uh, it, does, it doesn't do their brand, their label, uh, any, 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 any favors yeah. to insult the kids, the boys and girls that go to our Chenemy concerts. Yeah. Uh, uh, because uh, they are the ones who buy their merch, they are the ones who listen to their music on Spotify mm. or Google Play Music or Pandora or whatever. And without them, uh, those concerts are going to be really fucking boring. Yeah. So, uh, really, just uh, learn to own up to your mistakes. Everybody makes them. You, 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 we all humans. Yeah. It's okay. You fucked up. Mm. Just say that you're sorry, mm. but don't double down just because you're too proud to accept that you made a mistake. Just to give you an example, mm. after uh, we, uh, we, we, after I, I wrote that thing where I explained that um, I was disgusted by that accusation of uh, misogyny, yeah, uh, uh, and a female. Uh, fan on our Facebook groups, uh, Facebook page, I'm sorry, uh, and, and, and us started to make jokes about how we hate women, right? Yeah. Uh, and we posted a picture of The Handmaid's Tale, which is uh, this series based on, a, on the Margaret Atwood book of the same name. And, and I used the word harlot, 
which is a, an old word for prostitute in English. Mm. Uh, I thought that it was very obvious mm. that it was a joke. It was in the context of The Handmaid's Tale, but that reader, that fan, felt offended. <laughs> what I did yeah. was to tell her, I am sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean this as an insult, it's because we're making jokes about The Handmaid's Tale, but clearly the, the joke landed poorly, and I sincerely apologize for offending you. I shouldn't have, to I, I wasn't supposed to tell her, oh, well, then you're a fucking idiot because you don't get jokes. Mm. Because that's not how it works. She felt uh, the, the joke didn't work as I thought it would work. She, she's completely cool with it. We've talked about it. She's fine. Yeah. But she was owed an explanation and I gave it to her. Yeah. She, my bond with, with that fan is better mm. because I owe that to the, to the misunderstanding at the very least that I created. Yeah. That bond would have been broken. If I had just said, well, I don't give a shit, fuck you. Which is basically the approach that Arch Enemy has taken so far. Yeah. And I really hope that they will uh, eventually... So, Jay, thank you very much for your time. And also all the explanations and um, also the topics we discussed about it. And uh, yeah, at least I hope the whole situation will calm down and there is a future solution for you, for the band and uh, everybody because um, it's between Christmas and New Year's Eve, which is usually the time of love, peace and family. And uh, it was a nice chat we had. And yeah, is there anything left you want to say or to share? You can do it now. Oh yeah, thank you very much for your time, Kai. I really, it's really flattering to see uh, the attention and the interest that you had, but also the enormous support that we've received from not just the metal community, but from photographers and fans uh, all over the world. I mean, today uh, people sent, sent me uh, news clippings from Chile, from Finland, yeah. from Australia, it's all over, from Spain, it's all over the world, which is completely mind-boggling because, uh, you know, three days ago I was... Uh, completely unknown and all of a sudden I am uh, like my face is a newspaper in other countries which has been uh, shocking uh, so thank you very much everyone for the enormous support and as I said at the end of the video I think that this is a fantastic time to donate to charity mm. uh, so if whatever charity people uh, support in the respective countries uh, try to donate um, generously because a lot of people uh, can benefit tremendously uh, mm. from it. So thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate that you that uh, your interest, and I wish you all the best. And thank I you. hope we can stay in touch. Thank you, Kay. Thank you very much, man. Freunde, ich hoffe, euch hat das Interview gefallen. Damit ihr keine Videos verpasst, abonniert unseren Channel. Auf unserem Kanal findet ihr noch weitere interessante Interviews mit namhaften Bands. Schaut euch auch auf unserer Facebook-Seite herum, wo wir exklusiven Content wie interessante Beiträge, Konzertfotos oder Videos uploaden. Auf unserer Webseite www.moshpitpassion.de findet ihr CD-Reviews, Konzertfotos, Konzertberichte, Interviews und viele, vieles mehr.